INTJs often have difficulty trusting others because they believe it must be earned, not given. It can take a long time for them to totally trust another person, which is not an easy process for them. An INTJ wouldn't think of this as a lack of trust, but rather as being more cautious and guarded about who they actually depend on. Trusting someone requires believing in their authenticity while also allowing yourself to be vulnerable to being betrayed by that same person. Some people, especially the INTJ, find it difficult to open up and truly trust others. That's because INTJs are born detectives. They are always looking for connections and patterns, which is driven by their powerful introverted intuition. A lot of times, they don't like what they see. But once they do let you in, however, you'll have a genuine fighter that will always have your back. There isn't anything that an INTJ values more than loyalty. So what happens when an INTJ lets their guard down, finally, and then it comes back to bite them when someone betrays that sacred connection? I'll just say, it won't end well for you. That's why today, I'm talking about 5 unnerving ways INTJs handle betrayal and manipulation. Watch until the end of today's video and tell me which of these ways you've handled it when you were betrayed. Be sure to leave a comment and tell me your stories and experiences. Let's get into it. Welcome to Success for Breakfast, where I'm serving up brain food made simple. Hit that subscribe button to get the latest videos created to give you the tools to level up your life. Starting things off for me today is that an INTJ can become obsessive and controlling. INTJs often dread change and interacting with just anyone, because they are so picky and because of the prospect of someone betraying their confidence. When someone betrays them, it can be quite unsettling for an INTJ. It may even cause them to act irrationally. The typical controlled and intentional INTJ may become obsessive and demanding as well as withdraw from those around them. They may become so enthralled by the betrayal that it eventually consumes them. It has the ability to take over their minds and be profoundly disturbing to them. For example, if an INTJ was deceived, they might spend their days and nights wondering why that person betrayed them and trying to come up with possible scenarios to help calm their mind. When they do come up with a plausible explanation, they will start to exert control over future situations in their lives in order to avoid being deceived or betrayed again. When this happens, an INTJ will always try to stay one step ahead of people, which makes them constantly analyze and probe people's intentions even more than they already do. It can be a never-ending vicious circle that will take someone with true intentions and authenticity to potentially break them out. Next up on my list today is an INTJ has no problem putting their foot down. INTJs live by strong principles and values and are not hesitant to stand up for what they believe in. They are deeply devoted to their loved ones and close friends and will go to tremendous lengths to protect them. They have an innate ability to see the larger picture and are great problem solvers, which allows them to excel in effective strategy planning, organization, and implementation. As a result, INTJs will put their foot down if they believe someone is conspiring against them or attempting to manipulate them in any way. They will end the manipulation and deception by directly pointing it out to that person without hesitation. An INTJ will make it abundantly apparent to manipulators that they will not be tolerated. They will put an end to the scheming, lying, and betrayal without blinking an eye. Because they are not hesitant to stand up to bullies and manipulators, an INTJ will make it quite apparent that this behavior is simply not acceptable. Standing true to their values, INTJs will be quick to point it out and inform the other person that they have violated their own principles. An INTJ will not hesitate to call them out until the other person recognizes their mistake and apologizes to them. The INTJ's mood will determine whether they are forgiving or not, but you can try your luck. Starting my top three today is that INTJs go on the defensive. When INTJs are exposed to lies and manipulations, they have an extremely unpleasant emotional reaction. They can get incredibly protective and want to fight back. Their only goal is to put an end to it and make it stop immediately. INTJs, like a lot of people, struggle with dealing with betrayal and manipulation. They prefer to view things for what they are and deal with problems as they arise. An INTJ may not want to seem defensive, but they undoubtedly can be. The INTJ values accuracy over defense and they attempt to be open to new ideas when they are brought to their attention. 
However, they don't want to be deceived, lied to, or manipulated. INTJs can be apprehensive since they have a tendency to put up barriers and hide their emotions from others. When it comes to their feelings, INTJs are more protective than most as they attempt to hide them. They can become so defensive, however, that they will blame other people to explain why they did not deserve such treatment. They can start to believe that they are martyrs and that everyone else is a monster. This mindset just reinforces the INTJ's belief that the other person harmed them and that they did not deserve such treatment. If you've gotten some value from this video so far, please show your appreciation by hitting that like button. That signals to YouTube that you think other people could benefit from this video too. In the runner-up spot is that INTJs get angry and become distant. So let's just settle this. No one can really handle betrayal and manipulation with a smile. No one enjoys it or gets excited when it happens to them. And when this happens to an INTJ, they can become withdrawn as well as hostile. When someone betrays the trust of an INTJ, the consequences can be severe. This is because INTJs are very private people who dislike having their personal lives exposed to others. As a result, when they are betrayed, they may become outraged and distance themselves from everyone. This is particularly true if the betrayal is severe or involves a close friend or family member. Because INTJs are introverts, they are more prone to think before speaking. Their third function is introverted feeling, which is an internal method of mapping out and comprehending emotions. When INTJs have been betrayed, they are more prone to process their feelings on their own rather than seek advice or input from others. This can leave their partner, friend, or family member confused about where the INTJ is emotionally. But let them be, they need their alone time anyway, but especially when they have been betrayed. Are you an INTJ who has ever been betrayed? How did you handle it when it happened to you? Leave a comment and tell me your stories. Topping my list is an INTJ has no problem cutting permanent ties. This might seem harsh, but it's a much needed step. If a person has wronged an INTJ a little too much, they won't hesitate to cut ties with them permanently. This is also known as the INTJ door slam. No matter what the person does, INTJs aren't letting them come back into their lives again. This is a type of protective function in order to avoid such situations in the future. You might be trying to explain yourself, but since the INTJ has already investigated and closed off all existence of you in their minds, they have no desire to hear what you have to say. INTJs are never looking for drama and try their best to stay away from drama in their lives. In this situation, you must not keep banging on the door but instead offer the INTJ some time to think and analyze the situation. They will ponder over the circumstances and maybe, by some small chance, might come to you when they're ready, but don't count on it. Make sure you never force a conversation when an INTJ is betrayed because they are definitely not listening. Also, never underestimate an INTJ's ability to switch off the remote when you try to be a TV villain in their lives. Anyone who betrays or manipulates an INTJ should be ready to lose them permanently as you won't be able to win them over again very easily. You may think that the door slam is reserved and specific for INFJs, but that's not the case at all. The INTJ door slam is just as brutal and can appear as though it had happened out of the blue, which is rarely the case. In fact, the INTJ has more than one door slam at their disposal. This video talks about the different door slams INTJs use when they are simply done, and what each one truly means for anyone who has been on the receiving end.